One of the superpowers of Google Apps Scripts is the whole world of apps, add-ons, and tools that you can install to automate, support, and streamline your workflow to save time and money. This series is about exploring those Google Workspace add-ons so you can decide if they would make a smart addition to your organization. In this episode of GWOW, we look at Insert Special Character by Sheets Help. As the name suggests, the Insert Special Character add-on allows you to access the full list of special characters like math symbols, shapes and arrows, currency symbols, dingbats, and Greek and Coptic symbols from the convenience of your sidebar of your Google Sheet. Okay, let's have a look at the Insert Special Characters Google Workspace Marketplace page. We'll go over, so multiple characters in each cell we can add in, so that's fairly convenient. I like the idea of it just being able to pop up in the sidebar instead of having to use some sort of shortcut and not be able to effectively search for an item. We can change the size and color of any of the characters. That's gonna be pretty handy too, so we, don't, we can just get it all done in the sidebar before inserting it. Uh, we can search and filter the results too. Oh, that's gonna make life easier as well, so we can just type in what we want and it should appear. So after looking through just the images, I think this is probably a really handy tool for those people in finance or a mathematics intensive field that need to add characters into their sheet. Okay, before we install, let's have a look at permissions. And awesome, and look at this, only four permissions it's requiring. And they're also really low on the scopes too, which is great. So the first one, view and manage spreadsheets that this application has been installed in. Well, yeah, you're going to be using the spreadsheet, so it's kind of necessary here. And then we've got display and run third-party web content in prompts and sidebars inside the Google application. Well, yeah, as we saw in the image, a sidebar appears. And if a sidebar appears, you have to have this scope. So it's important to have this in permission here. You don't have a choice there. See your primary Google account email address. I think this is probably used to validate your account against any payments you have made for the product. And this one, see your personal info, including any personal info you've made publicly available. Well, this is stock standard for any Google Workspace Marketplace app. Cool, so I've already got this installed in this account, but let's head over to my Mrs. Yagi-san Atate account and go ahead and install it here. So we'll go to extensions, add-ons, manage add-ons, and we'll type in insert special characters, there it is here. Here it is here, so we'll click on that and we'll click on install and continue. And this will go through our permission process and we'll allow. And we won't do a survey now, thank you very much Google. And it's saying it's in our add-ons, excellent. And we should be able to close this now. Head over to our extensions and go to insert special characters, there it is. Now we've got this enable, button first, so we'll click on that. It should uh, just verify the account and uh, to see if it's paid or not, I guess. And then we've got a welcome insert dialog box just to tell us what to do. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so from here we can go to extensions and insert special characters and open, click on that. And here's our sidebar. I'm gonna head back over to my main account now and do the same. So extensions, insert special characters, open. Now, so straight away, we've got our dialog buttons here, and I love these little button effects as you hover over each one. And we've got our arrows straight away. I use arrows a lot uh, to help users and guide them in what direction they need to do to fill out certain bits and pieces in a Google Sheet. So that's super handy. Let's just go ahead and add an item, see what happens. Okay, so we've just got this item here. I've just clicked on it, and there you go. It's appeared here in A1. We'll move over to somewhere else. We'll do... I don't know, little refresh button. We'll do refresh, undo, redo button at the other way. That's not too bad. What else can we do with that? Let's, uh, let's change our color. So uh, let's move this to, I don't know. Well, that's a nice purpley pink color. It's pretty cool. And I think we've got to check the box too, I'd imagine. And we'll increase the font size, most importantly, so you can see when I insert one, insert something. Let's go with a, uh, a big square. Awesome. And I think that's in the same box so the font size didn't change, but if we put the square in here, cool, let's increase the font size to 36 and do the same with the square. Oh, I see what I did. We've got to check that font size box, don't we? Let's do that again. So we've got a square here. 
Oh, now we've got a ginormous square. Let's make it uh, size 10. That was my mistake, user error there. Nice, that's looking pretty cool. So we can change the colors um, pretty well here. And this, I think this just gives us the full list of everything, doesn't it? And you can see you've, we've got some emojis there as well. They're not going to be affected by color, which is cool. Change the color again, something different. Yeah, something around there. Nice. Um, cool, they've been added in, lovely. All right, so one thing we could do is we can filter these. So if we just want to look at arrows, we can just look at arrows here, it seems. Now if I've got shapes, with geometric shapes as well, but I've got arrows and shapes ticked, so let's just take the arrows off. Oh, now we've got these here, oh cool. All right, so let's do something a bit creative here. Green, green, change color to Yep, that'll do. And we'll go red. It's ready brownie colour, isn't it? Nice. Let's move this over to here. Cool. We are artists. And we can still change our font size even back in here again, of course, once it's been loaded in. Awesome. What about if we uh, look up copyright, for example? There we go. Copyright symbol comes in here. We'll just change this to something bigger. Nice. And we can change off this special character color. And let's look for all right, for root here. And we can get square root symbol and put that in. Add other symbols in. So as you can see, it's a really handy tool and it works very quickly to insert these characters in here. Sheets Help comes with a 30-day free trial, followed by a very reasonable one-time $7 purchase. But I spoke to Adam from Sheets Help and managed to get you 20% off. I don't know how long this offer is going to last though, so I recommend if you find this add-on useful, take advantage of the discount while it's still available. Use the code SPECIAL20, all in uppercase, at checkout to get the discount. You can find the code in the description below in this video. Let's go ahead and wrap up this walkthrough with a review for Adam. Insert Special Characters is a convenient tool for users to quickly access, search or browse for characters and insert them in a Google Sheet product. The extra convenience of size and color modification is also a great feature. I would particularly recommend this for anyone in finance, statistics or education. That's it for the Insert Special Character Google Workspace add-on walkthrough. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, please let me know by liking this video. And if you want to see more videos like this and want to see more tutorials on Google Workspace, Google Sheets, and Google Apps Scripts, please subscribe. Until next time.